Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to day four of Let's Talk Calm Chaos and Keep Balance. Um, you're still in charge. You may not feel like it, but you're still in charge. Um, so today we're going to continue with what we've been talking about, protecting your immune system. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit today about how it affects your routine and also um, offer you some free coaching sessions at the end too that if you're struggling with it or anything during this time, I'll tell you how to get those at the end. Um, so, uh, the 10 tips I gave you on Tuesday, um, which ones are you finding helpful? Which ones, which one did you try yesterday? Let me know. Give me some feedback on that. How are you tweaking them? How does that work for you? Um, let me know because when you let me know, you're letting somebody else know and it helps everybody. So, you you know, you can, if one's working great, add another one to it, keep it, whatever your mojo feels like at the time. Um, so, let's go, let's just jump right into this and talk about routines. Um, did you know that not only what you do, but when and how you do can affect your immune system. So what you do during the day, but when you do it and how you do it can affect your immune system. Um, A daily routine is more important for a few reasons. It's so important. I shouldn't say more important. It's so important for a few reasons. Um, first of all, it keeps you focused. When you keep focused, you eliminate chaos and you reduce your stress. Um, stress wreaks havoc on your immune system. It wreaks havoc on your whole body health. So big, big one there. So pretty much every day I've been trying to give you ways um, to help you reduce your stress. So like I said, I've been telling you all week we'd talk about routines. So let's talk about them today. Um, many of you have been thrown off your routine for one reason or another. You know, kids, school's closed, so kids are out. Um, maybe you're working from home. Maybe you're work in overtime because you're uh, you are in one of the essential jobs um whatever the reason is for you there's really no one that i know of yet um that this has not changed their routine in some way shape or form and your household's routine, you know, um, when one person in the household, their routine changes, it shifts everybody's a lot of times. Um, so whatever that reason is, due to the current events, most of us have actually slowed down. Um... So let me start by first asking you, what has changed for you? What in your routine are you not able to do now that you were doing before? Besides the obvious of going out and eating and some things like that. Besides that, What's changed, what's actually changed in your routine that you are not able to do now that you were doing before? That could be exercising, going to the gym, um, going to yoga, going to play golf, going to, um, going fishing, um, going to kids' soccer games, my granddaughter's. Uh, they were just getting ready to start their practice and stuff. Um, got groceries. We can still go get groceries. Um, 
we've done the pickup and we actually tried the uh, delivery this week, which worked wonderful. Um, what in your routine has changed? What's your sleep? What's are you working at home? Um, then I want you, when you kind of define that, look at that and write them down. And for each one, ask, what is it about that that is stopping you from, what is it about that that has changed? What is it about that that is stopping you from keeping on doing it? So if it was the gym, maybe you're not going to be able to work out like you could, but what's one thing you can do? What's one thing you can do at home? One thing is better than nothing. So what's one thing? Um, is this totally turned your sleep routine upside down? You know, um, a lot of people rely on that structure of leaving the home, going to a job, um, having to have a set lunch hour at their job, clocking in, clocking out. Um, work is done at this point in time and then drive home, pick up something to eat or go out and eat or come home and cook a meal, whatever it would be. And then you got to go to bed because you got to get up and go do it again in the morning. Um, many of you have, are working from home. So some of that hasn't changed, but you're not used to having to set your own structure and how to adhere to it in your home with all the other distractions. Um, just the environment itself is a different working environment and can be very distracting when you're working. So what is it about that that is changed? Um, what how, What is it and how can you take better control of that. Um, you have, many of us have more time now to work on the, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, sorry. I worked outside yesterday in the flower beds and it was windy so my allergies have kicked up a little bit. Um, but your sleep schedule, it, why aren't you getting enough sleep? Um, is it the stress? Do we need to work on reducing your stress so that you can sleep better? Is it um, just that lack of structure, that lack of what do I do now, knowing when and, and what time to go to bed and, and stuff. Thanks for the likes and the hearts, guys. I love it. Um, so... I just lost my train of thought. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Um, if, if this is you and that's something that you're struggling with, um, I'm offering, I've had, my schedule's been turned upside down. So I'm offering free coaching sessions. And um, here in a few minutes, I will explain how to go about getting those. Um, what I want to ask you about... Maybe you're really stuck and maybe you're really worried and are you not dealing with this at well at all? Is this really stressing you out? So let's think about this for a minute and hi Alicia. Um, when was there a time in your life that you were so scared and that you were frightened? Because the unknown is kind of scary and it is, fr un it is frightening. But was there a time that was even um, as a child that, you know, oh my gosh, how am I going to survive out of this? Um, think back to that minute and really get in touch with that feeling and the feelings that you're having right now with your uncertainty. And um, some people are doing really well right now, so it's... There's not anybody that I know of that's not touched by this, but where are you at on the scale?
but get when you get in touch with that feeling and some of it may feel similar what that memory may feel similar to now know this you survived it you survived whatever you were scared of as a little girl or a little boy or a young adult um you survived hard time keeping a schedule that's what i'm talking about today um i'll let you know we can uh, uh give you some information for a free coaching session um but you survived back then and you are capable of surviving now you're here you're alive and we're working to keep our immune system built up keep our immune system healthy and empower ourselves during this time um i want to know that you can fully access the present the past is something that it's a memory it's not something that you can be present in it's old it's done um, we can learn from it and the future our worries take us out of the present same as our memories do it's something that we cannot access so what can we access today being fully present um, that will change our tomorrow and we want to do that in a positive way so um, Tuesday I give tips um, there's focus breathing that helps with the stress helps with relaxation um, we can find joy in this even though sorry got a dog talking Ollie. and um, he's putting his two cents in um, how do we make the most out of our time during this whether you're off work whether you hush whether you're off work sorry guys out you go so sorry so sorry um but how do we embrace this i talked about that i believe on monday embracing the challenges embracing new things um how do we get a hold of turn our fears from fear to courage um that's kind of what we've been talking about all day or all week you're in power you're in charge um so not to take up too much more of your time that's a lot to think about um, so while you think about that and I'll be live again tomorrow meanwhile like I said um, I'm offering free coaching sessions because I'm not going to the gym I've had several outside appointments um, cancel uh, this I do fears to courage yes yes it's what I love to do love to work with um, well, the work I do here is from home, so it's not affecting this work, but um, my other part-time job and some other appointments that I had and, and things like that, they've been canceled. So I have been opening up um, free sessions. Anybody watching all week's known that. Join my, um, my private group, Let's Talk, Calm, Chaos, and Keep Balance love it um join the group and there should be a post on there and if not um the, that post should include my email so kind of look in that email and if you don't find it then respond to i will be sharing this video with that group so respond to the vi this video in that group and i will give you my email uh, you can also personal message me, DM me through Messenger too. And then um, what I'll do is I'll give you an application and we'll set up a time. So um, have a great day. Um, ask yourself those questions. 
what are you doing right now that you can't do before? And what about that is different? What can't, what's one thing that you can do if it is your sleep schedule, setting an alarm, um, all of these things I would love to be able to help you with, but first I need to know what yours are. So um, let me know, give me that response, and I'll be happy to set up a time and talk with you. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me, Alicia. And have a wonderful day. And don't forget to join the group and get the information there. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.